What's going on, everybody? We are a little bit over nine weeks out for my first ever bodybuilding show. Nine weeks and two days to be exact. We are back home in Cincinnati. I wanna take you guys through a full day of eating on my prep. We're at 1800 calories, right around 40 grams of fat, 175 grams of carbs, and 200 grams of protein. My diet has changed a little bit from Texas. Down in Texas, I was doing lots of oats, chicken breasts, fruits, and veggies, which is still gonna be the staple. We're gonna add a few other things in. So first things first, we have breakfast right here. We have two eggs, two pieces of low calorie toast, and then two chicken tenderloins, which comes out to be four ounces. So um, also I cook the eggs in four grams of butter, but I'll go ahead and read the macros off for this first meal. So this first meal comes out to be 369 calories, 19 grams of carbs, 15 grams of fat, and 40 grams of protein. Very, very simple, but once again, I actually really missed eggs and ground beef while I was in Houston, Texas, so I've added those back in. Once again, typically egg whites, but this I'm actually using whole eggs, because I do need a little bit of fat. So I pulled out a little bit of peanut butter, you guys will see later in the day, pulled the peanut butter out to add the whole eggs in there. But yeah, this is breakfast. I am gonna add a little bit of hot sauce on top. Occasionally add ketchup as well. Um, but honestly, today I'm not really feeling the ketchup, so I might just put a little bit of hot sauce on there. And that's meal number one. Here we are with meal number two, also our pre-workout meal. Yes, this has been a staple in my diet. So this is, I think, the one meal that actually didn't change from my previous diet to my newer diet now that I'm home. It is our Prots. So in this bowl, we have two packs of these maple brown sugar quick oats. So two packs of this. Put it um, in the bowl with a little bit of water. Um, I basically do one whole container of water and then microwave it for three minutes. Then we'll go ahead and take it out. We'll mix in our protein powder. So one scoop of Transparent Labs to get 28 grams of protein, a splash of almond milk, um, some sort of unsweetened low calorie almond milk, and then as well as some peanut butter. And this is the natural peanut butter. Make sure it's just roasted peanuts and salt in there. And we have one banana cut up on top as well to make that delicious mixture right there, which once again, I've been eating for, I don't even know how many weeks now, but a long time and I still love it. But this meal comes out to be um, also, 15 grams of peanut butter. It used to be 20, even 30 down in Houston, but we're going 15 grams. It is 579 calories, 80 grams of carbs, 12 grams of fat, and 41 grams of protein. This is our pre-workout meal. Once again, this will be a staple in my diet, I think hopefully through the rest of prep, as long as my calories don't have to get any lower, I don't have to bring down my carbs anymore. And also even after prep, I think I'm gonna eat this until until the wheels fall off essentially. But now we're gonna have this, I'm um, gonna hang out for a little bit, let this digest, head to the gym around noon. But I'm gonna take you guys to the gym with me, go through a full body workout, and then yeah, we'll do some posing at the end. I'll show you the post-workout meal as well. Peanut butter. Hmm. You some peanut butter? Alrighty, we've just made it to the gym. I'm listening to the Big Booty Remix um, 23, and it is garbage. Sorry, um, I normally love Big Booty Remixes. Honestly, I listen to them all the time on my way to the gym when I work out, but 15, 18, 19, and 21 are my go-tos. I decided to listen to 23 because I haven't yet. I gave it a listen yesterday, and I was like, ah, maybe I listened to it again today on the drive to the gym. I'm like, this is just absolute garbage. But regardless, we have a monster right here sipped on this. We got, let's see, 10 calories, I believe. You guys can see that somewhere in there. Boom, 10 calories and 140 milligrams of caffeine, which I didn't realize. I think they did that because in like Canada and I think other countries, you can't have more than 150 milligrams in a can. So I think this used to be 150 and they dropped it down to 140 so they could sell it all over the world. But um, yeah, the classic white monsters that go to today. So we're gonna finish this off. Uh, probably change my music up uh, from Big Booty Mix and then we'll get inside and go through a full upper body day. Pretty pumped for it. Hopefully we can get a good pump. I am very low on carbs, low on energy. So yeah, let's just run it up and um, see what we can get into.
We've made it back from the gym. It was a very quality workout, I will say. Feeling a little flat, feeling a little depleted. We were able to make it through the entire workout pretty solid, but at the end, when I was posing, I did feel just a little bit flat, but it's kind of one of the sacrifices you have to make. You have to be a little bit flat, be a little bit depleted to get that sharpness and fill out for the stage. But real quick, we were outside because I got some new kicks. So as you guys can see right here, I'll give you guys some close-up looks. We got some New Balance. These are the 2002 R's, the suede pack. These are the Force Green. I personally am absolutely in love with this color. So but we're gonna put some, uh, what is this, Crep Protect on it. This thing right here that I guess is good for suede shoes to kind of keep it uh, relatively clean as you wear them. So we're gonna go ahead and spray those guys down. That's where we're outside. I'm gonna spray that down, then make our post-workout meal. But um, yeah, I'm super pumped for these shoes. They look incredible. I love the colorway. They're gonna be uh, a little bit of everything. They can be a gym shoe, they can be a casual shoe. Honestly, I feel like you can dress them up with like a nice pair of khakis, something like that. So super pumped for those. We're gonna give those a quick spray, make sure that those are covered and protected, and I'll get to the post-workout meal. And while we're waiting for the first coat of the crep, I don't even know how to pronounce it, crep protect, to go ahead and dry on the shoes, we're gonna have our post-workout cocktail. We've got the creatine as well as the post. Boom, right there from Transparent Labs. That's pretty much the post-workout cocktail every single day. Um, but once again, when we don't work out, we don't have post, we just have the creatine. But um, yeah, gonna down this, wait for the thing to dry, the protection, whatever, to dry, do a second layer, and then we'll come in and make the post-workout meal. Our burgers with some fruits and veg. And in front of us, we have our post-workout meal. So it's basically three big things. It's 300 grams of strawberries, as you guys can see in there. We had 100 grams of carrots on top. I've been nibbling at those a little bit. And we have two four ounce patties. These are 96 four ground beef. You could make it as just ground beef, but for some reason, I just like the fact that I can make it like a burger, get a little bit of char on there, all that good stuff. We're gonna pair that with a cream soda. This is like a zero sugar cream soda. Isaac actually turned me on this. And in my opinion, it's very, very close to be my favorite as far as like a dieting soda, close to Fresca. It's very different though. Fresca is like a little bit more refreshing with the cream soda, kind of a little bit more sweet in my opinion. Then we're adding two servings of this reduced sugar ketchup it is 15 calories a piece. We have our food scale right here. We're actually measuring all that out. So real quick, put that in there. Click the zero or the tear button. Ketchup. We want to be 34 grams. Okay, 41, so we're a little bit over, but once again, it's gonna be a very, very small amount, so I'll kind of just note that that was a little bit higher. And then mustard, zero calories, so really as much as my heart desires, which right now is a little bit more than I probably. There we go. All right, and that's gonna be our post workout meal. I'll read off the macros for you guys real quick. So this is meal number three, it comes out to be 471 calories. 42 grams of carbs, 10 grams of fat, and 51 grams of protein. Gonna have this, probably go for a little walk just to help with digestion. Maybe take Maisie on the WALK or the neighborhood. And I'll see you guys at meal number four. Here we have a very simple meal number four. Um, honestly, classic bodybuilder minus the white rice. We have 
200 grams of broccoli, as well as five ounces of chicken tenderloin that was weighed out raw and then cooked. We also have another cream soda because honestly we don't have any cold frescas, but these are also absolutely delicious. So number two of the day, let's see, total macros for this meal, 206 calories, 15 grams of carbs, only one gram of fat, and 38 grams of protein. We do have one meal left. Also, I'm currently sitting at, let's see, 12,000 steps, so I do need a little bit more steps after this meal. But once again, post-meal digestion walks are a thing, so definitely gonna be hopping on the treadmill, maybe taking Maisie. But um, yeah, that's meal number four, very basic, but we get some protein, we get some veg, and then we have a diet set on the side. See you at meal number five. It is time to make meal number five, and if you guys have seen the last couple of videos, hopefully you guys understand what this is by now, but for some of you that maybe haven't, I'm gonna run through it again real quick. So it is casein protein. Once again, it has to be casein protein. It cannot be anything else, it has to be casein. It will not work with a whey or a casein whey blend. It has to be just casein. Let's see, one scoop of protein with a little bit of almond milk, but the biggest thing here is to add the almond milk in slowly because you can't take any almond milk out. You can always add more in. So all it is is simply just one scoop. So we'll go ahead, get our scoop of casein protein. Just like that, one scoop into a bowl. There we go. And some almond milk. Once again, I've been making this a lot so I can eyeball it pretty well, but I always err on the safe side of going a little bit lighter on the almond milk to start. So we'll start there. We'll go ahead and give it a good mix. This will be a time lapse. And of course, the one time I make it for you guys, I do a little bit too much almond milk, which isn't a huge deal. You're just gonna add a little sprinkle of casein protein on top. This does add a few calories, but I mean, it, at the end of the day, it's not gonna be very much, just enough to thicken it up a little bit. So sprinkle some more protein on there, give a little bit more of a mix. Awesome, and a little sprinkle of extra casein protein on there was the perfect consistency. So as you can see that right there, hope you can see just like a little bit of like a thick pudding kind of mixture. This is exactly what I personally like it. Once again, you want a little bit more almond milk, go ahead and make it a little bit thinner, whatever it is. But now, I'm gonna give this one last mix and we'll throw this in the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes just to cool down. It comes more of like an ice cream. We'll top with some blueberries. I'll read you guys the final macros. Are you a perfect princess? Huh? Are you a tired puppy? And about 10 minutes later, we have our fifth and final meal of the day. We did add some blueberries in there so you guys can see how it turns out. And once again, this is something that's a staple in my diet, hopefully through the rest of prep. I really, really enjoy it. The chocolate, the blueberries, the whole combination. It's protein, it's some fruits, all that good stuff. So this final meal comes out to be 197 calories, 19 grams of carbs, only two grams of fat, and then 26 grams of protein. A great way to end my day, help me hit my protein goal. And that takes my day total to 1,821 calories, 175 grams of carbs, 41 grams of fat, and then 197 grams of protein. This is the final meal of the day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that full day of eating. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below, but we're a little bit over nine weeks out from our first show. Super, super excited. Once again, the diet is so important when you're trying to lose body fat, so don't forget that. Otherwise, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.